Hi guys, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design and welcome to my 2016 Project Life album. This is my layout for week 24, which I think is October 16 through the 22nd of last year. And so this was my birthday week and a lot of the photos that are included in the layout are from my birthday and um, so the layout itself I created in the Project Life app. I used the Stampin' Up! Hello Lovely edition for the journaling and filler cards that you see here. And um, I'm also using some of my fall kit embellishments, which include products from Freckle Fawn, um, some Pink Paisley Moonstruck, and there might be, yes, there are a couple of things from uh, Pink Fresh Studio Indigo Hills included here as well. And there's also a stamp set that I'm using from Gossamer Blue from some of the fall kits last year as well. And so I'm just jumping right in here. I have this one large photo on the left hand side and this is this was taken on my birthday and so Alan and all the kids made dinner for me that night and so I just snapped this photo just using my iPhone it's not it's it's sort of grainy and not very technically perfect um, but it's okay I wanted to capture the feeling of sitting on the sofa that night this was my view uh, and they were all in the kitchen making dinner and laughing and hanging out and um, experiencing some joy of doing something special for me and so I just included a couple of small embellishments in the center of the layout or in the center of the photo at the bottom so there's a word strip from freckled fawn and the word love which is from the pink paisley puffy stickers from moonstruck and then a couple of leaves and a heart puffy sticker as well and so you guys know that some of my go-to products when i'm creating when i'm embellishing my project life layouts um, my go-to embellishments are washi tape and puffy stickers and um, so this is no different here now I when I created the layout in the app I left this card here it's just a simple polka dots pattern which I absolutely love and um, it's it's a watercolor effect on this polka dot pattern and so this becomes a great filler card just to do a simple washi strip, one stamped sentiment, and a couple of teeny tiny embellishments around it. <coughs> I also have left a, a 3x4 horizontal card here that I can journal on. And so I'm going to create some lines using the Becky Higgins Project Life roller stamp and then I changed my mind and I'm going to use there were some lines in that um, Gossamer Blue stamp set from last year the, those lines are just a little bit longer but they still don't go all the way across the, the um, journaling card but I'm going to use that space just to add a little tiny embellishment. So no worries, I'm stamping my lines and then I'm going to add my journaling here. Um, I'm looking to see what I want to add in that little space there. So never be afraid if, you're, if your stamp isn't quite long enough are quite big enough for what you're looking for use it anyway and then you can add a little embellishment here we go just a little heart and then I'm gonna just write about 
how it's my 43rd birthday. My birthday is October 19th. And this is the best part. And later on, on the other side, I'll write about how they made dinner for me. And that's what the photo is. That's the story that this photo is telling. Now, this, um, this floral circle card here, I'm going to use for my week number and my date. And so I'm drawing from the, the One Little Bird stamp set that's available at Studio Calico. And I love this stamp set. It has a couple of different ways to stamp the year and a couple of different ways to stamp the month. And then, of course, the week number phrase and the numbers themselves. So this was the perfect opportunity to use this. I'm also excited because um, Peppermint Granberg of One Little Bird, she made a 2017 addition to this stamp set. So if you got this stamp set last year and you still want to use it for 2017, you don't have to buy the whole new stamp set. You can just buy the 2017 numbers. So I did that. You'll be seeing that in the next couple of weeks and months. Um, I love when you can get more life out of your stamp sets and love when you can use your products across the spectrum of projects that you're working on. Um, this is something that I'm trying to trying to carry out in my scrapbooking this year is when I buy products to make sure that I'm using them across all of the projects that I'm working on. Um, so that's probably why you've been seeing some videos with the same products, right? Um, my fall kit, this is one of that you've seen several layouts now where I've been using the Pink Paisley Moonstruck and um, Simple Stories Posh. And those were all part of my fall kit. And so I'm trying to use those products in each of my projects as I go along. Um, it's also kind of fun to see how many different ways you can use your products and how many different types of layouts you can create with your products um, because I, I might in the past have been tempted to say, oh, it's a fall collection. I'm only going to use it for fall layouts. But if you're working on if you look at where you are in your projects at that particular time, for example, I'm working on 2014 and 2016 Project Life. Those are both in fall, in the fall time frame. But then my 2017 Project Life is in winter. And I've used some of my fall products for the winter layouts. And um, I have not used these for a traditional layout, but obviously that's an option that's available too. So challenge yourself this week if there have been products that you've been picking up lately or, for example, that you picked up in the fall. Challenge yourself to see how many different projects you can use those products in. It'll help your stash go farther and it'll help you feel like you're using it more too. Um, I definitely have enjoyed having this fall kit and um, if you're interested in everything that's included in my fall kit you can look back at my BYOK um, series and I go through some of what I what I purchased and how I plan to use it. So that gives you an idea of what what's on my desk these days. Um, so anyway, enough rambling about stash and the, the video keeps going and I'm just going to keep on embellishing here and <coughs> so on this side of the layout are a couple of more photos from our dinner on my birthday and then there's also a note that Natalie wrote and left for us on the fridge. Um, that note is still there. It's so cute. It's still there. And um, 
apparently I really liked this little note because I put it on this layout and I think it's on the week before on that layout too. So that's fun. Go ahead and do that, right? Um, it's totally okay to repeat a, a photo. I think that it was by accident. Who knows? Um, I was organizing my photos differently last year, so that's full well going to happen sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so I um, have used the stamp again with the lines to create lines for my journaling. And I'm just going to write a little bit here and just say it's Natalie's love note to all of us. And then i um, just going to write a little bit about the week in general. So there are more photos of the flowers that were on our front porch. And I was really surprised we had these purple flowers. They're actually vines. They sort of grow in a vine kind of pattern. And I was surprised because here it was the middle of October and they were still going strong didn't show any signs yet of of retiring for the year and so they they were something that brought me joy and then there's also a photo of Alan and I on one of our walks that day yeah um so just keep it on going here I'm I loved these little paper clips from Freckled Fawn and um, I think Pink Paisley was the first one to do this concept of, of attaching a little um, puffy flag to the paper clip and I love them and so I'm going to try to figure out what to do with this one and first I thought I would layer some ephemera on top of the photo and attach the paper clip to the ephemera but I wasn't really feeling that. Um, so I'm just playing around with it a little bit and trying to figure out. And then, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying, to, trying it with a sticker <laughs> to see if that's what I want to do. And then I just end up, um, I'm going to just put it on the top of the page. And there are a couple of banners. There's a a puffy sticker from Freckled Fawn that has a banner on it and a washi tape from Pink Paisley. So just end up using it like that. And that's fun. So there you go. And then a little butterfly too. Okay. Um, now for this this blank card that's at the top, I decided that I want to do a list yay for lists and um, so there were some stamps in the Gossamer Blue stamp set here that were like um, well first the large stamp says grateful for and then it had a couple of items um, grateful for sweater weather grateful for our family for our happy home so I decided to just use those as a list and I'm also going to stamp this little house here. Now, this little house, I love this little house, but it actually goes through a couple of transformations. It takes me a while um, to get it right, and you'll see what happens with that. It doesn't end up staying. So that's okay. I tried it. It's the cutest little house, though. So I was just trying to stamp it on a scrap paper to see how it, how the stamp does. And it, it stamps pretty well. Now I'm working on matte photo paper. It's Staples brand, 13 by 19 photo paper that I print my Project Life layouts onto. Um, great paper for writing on, for stamping on. Great. It works really well what ended up happening is that the the house is on the is stamped on the card crooked so 
I'm, I'm not realizing that yet at this point, but I will in a minute. First, I'm going to stamp the, the things that I'm grateful for. And I'm using these Indigo Hills gold triangles to emphasize each point. And so I think there's like four or five of those. And I'm just, I'm placing the stamp on the card itself so that I know where to put the triangle and then stamping the sentiment. Pretty easy peasy. Um, I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add a couple of these leaves here to, just to add some more layering onto this card. And here's where I'm beginning to realize that the little house is actually crooked. So I'm going to try to cut out one of these and layer it on top. I said this goes through a process, so just bear with me because this is my second try <laughs> with this little house. <clears throat> so I'm just cutting it out and Right now, I'm worried about it being crooked, so I'm going to fix it being crooked. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. Okay. So, moving along, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm still not happy. With, I know that I'm still not happy with that house. Um, and I want... I love the puffy sticker houses that um, Freckled Fawn had. I could, I could totally have like a whole sheet of those. It would be awesome. So now I'm considering what would happen if I just cover all the stamped images and just put a puffy sticker house on it. And I'll go ahead and tell you that's what I did. <laughs> I'm going to add this flare first. And so I've used two flare, two pieces of flare. There's one at the bottom on the left hand side in the center. And then this little leaf one. It sort of echoes the, the leaves that are in the stickers. And then here I went ahead and grabbed that little puffy house and went ahead and layered it over top of the stamped houses. And so those went bye bye. Okay. Now I'm going to use the flare and finish that up. And then I think this layout is pretty much done. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope that you will like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you back here again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.